Hey guys, on this side and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's start today's problem of the day on GFG. Okay, what's today's problem of the day? It's type it. Okay, so what exactly uh, here the problem given? Uh, it is like uh, let's uh, ex understand from the example only. Uh, here they are provided the description, but uh, from the example it will be more clear. Okay, so what is the thing? Uh, they just given uh, one uh, string as, uh, and uh, they just want us to check like in how many attempts we can complete that string. Okay, so here it is A B C A B C A. Okay, so how we can add A B C A B C A? Okay, so total seven attempts we can take here. Okay, one by one if we are adding. Okay, but we also need to check that if anything is repeating. Then we also that put that uh, thing like A B C. Then again we can add A B C. Okay, then that uh, one substring we are adding that count as only one. Okay, so first is A B C three, and then again we'll add uh, uh, A B C together. Then that's only plus one. So four and at the end A. So it is total five count here uh, as we can see. But the one uh, condition they are given the append the string. From uh, formatted thus the far to the end of the string. This cannot be done more than once. So we can add this substring only once, not more than once. Okay. So this is the case. So uh, for this, uh, let's start coding uh, in Python. Uh, so okay. Uh, now let's see. First, we need to append all this as string into the one another string. Then let me let me define one another string, str is equal to none, and I'm also defining a repeating string. Repeating string is equal also the null. If if anything repeating string we get, then we'll just put that in repeating string. Okay. Now let uh, me just start a one loop to append all the characters into the uh, str which we defined as null. So for i in range of length of s okay just let me define one more thing l is equal to length of s which is this is nothing but uh, we'll use this l in going forward on a, in below code also so i'm just defining that once okay now uh, let's uh, add this all the character from s into the str one by one is equal to str plus s of I. so one by one we can add all this character okay now we need to check whatever the character we are adding and we are getting str string okay is there uh, anything repeating in s or not okay so we just check it like if str in s of i plus one and so on okay so what is this exactly if we are adding till uh, if we are getting the string as a b c okay and at uh, at that point we are at the uh, i is equal to nothing but the three okay then we'll just check okay three plus, uh, sorry two then two plus one so for next any other string two three four five whatever is there uh, is there any repeating of a b c if it is there then we'll just put that in repeating string rep which we define as null okay so now we have a string and repeating string both. So now what we need to check if uh, anything in repeating string, then we just need to simply check like uh, whatever the repeating string, the, we need to remove that length of repeating string from the original string. And as uh, appending that uh, repeating string, just get the one count, we'll just add one. Okay, so here the L is nothing but the length, length of S. Uh, small s minus uh, length of repeating string plus one simple and if uh, and then we'll return l and if we don't have a repeating string then simple the answer is the length of s that's it so we already define uh, okay l is equal to length of s then we'll just return l okay let's compile it and check what we are getting okay uh, first test case satisfies fine now also let's submit it and check for all the test cases uh, 167 test case okay all the test case satisfies fine and uh, the code is executed fine in the given time limit also so yeah this is the solution for today's problem of the day and uh, stick to my youtube channel for all the 
learnings all the problem of the day on gigs for gigs and like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys